In our society, there are people with narcissistic ideas. The people with narcissistic ideas are a bit selfish, and also they need attention from the people around them, and they don't have that compassion, and they don't care about other people's feelings. They can do anything to protect their personality, being hurt without being hurt, so they can do anything to protect that. So when we are living our life, we have to deal with such people, right? Sometimes we may find narcissistic people in our family, right? As our partner's life partners. So we have to deal with such people. So how to deal with this problem? First of all, we have to understand about the situation of that person, right? If a person is being narcissist, that means he needs the attention from others, okay? And also they don't care about others. Feelings they can hurt you at any time, right? They don't care about your feelings. So when you're doing, when you're dealing with such people, the first thing that you have to do and to develop within yourself is the patience right? When you talk about when we talk about the patience, Supreme Buddha said, you should not be patient out of fear, right? A lot of lot of people talk about patience, and they think that patience being patient is a weakness, right? If you are being patient out of fear, and that is the, there is a weakness, but if you can be patient with the wisdom by being positive, not being aggressive, not being negative, but if you can be assertive, right? The positive patience, the patience with wisdom, then you will have that ability to deal with people, right? When you are being patient, you will develop the ability of listening to them, right? As the narcissistic person needs the attention from others. If you are listening to their ideas, if you are listening to what they say, then they will start to give a consideration, or they will start to love you, or they will start to like you because you are listening to them, but still, you are being patient, and you are not being patient out of fear, and still, you are listening to that person, then that person will start to like. You start to be with you normally when we find narcissistic, narcissistic people. The people with selfishness and people with higher self-esteem, we always try to reject them. Remember, the more we reject such people, the more they will develop their narcissism. They will tighten up their narcissism because we feed their ego, right? No one likes to be rejected in their lives, especially the narcissistic people they don't like. To be rejected. So what you have to do, you need to be patient. You need to listen to them very carefully. Give a big attention. That is the first quality number two. You need to have the kindness within yourself. You need to be kind to yourself as well as to the person who needs your attention. That person, right? If you can be kind to them, right? They will start to love you, and they will start to listen to your ideas, normally. Narcissistic people, they don't listen to others. Ideas, they think that I don't want any advice from anyone. I am the superior person. But if you approach them with kindness, if you approach them with patience, if you are not rejecting them, they will start to soften their stubbornness. Normally, there are the people who are with hard and stubborn qualities, right? So if you are approaching them with kindness, compassion, listening, patience, then they will start to follow your advice, right? They will start to think twice about your advices, right? So what you have to do is you have to approach them with kindness. Remember, kindness has the answers for these types of questions, problems right? Normally, we don't choose to be kind. We always try to reject that, those people. They are the people who needs our help. They are the people who needs our attention, right? If they need our attention, we have to give that. If you give that attention to themselves, then they will start to like you, okay? And also, you need to take time, right? If you need to change that person, if you need to make them feel that this narcissism and the things that the problem that I am having is not a good thing, you need to take time to explain them, right? People doesn't change in one night, within one night, right? It takes time. And also, you cannot convince a person through anger or rejection or blaming or scolding to make them change. You cannot do that. People change by themselves, by their own choices. If they made the choice to change themselves, then only they are changing, right? 
if we try to change themselves, if they are not listening to our ideas, then they will never change. So what you have to do, take time, little by little, one step by one step. You have to approach them with kindness, compassion, and patience. That is a soft approach, not a hard one. Okay? And the third quality that you must have within yourself is to admire their values, their good things, right? Normally, we have the nature in ourself to label the people, right? If someone has selfishness within himself, we label that person as a narcissist, right? But he's not a narcissist. He is a person. He is a human, which has narcissistic ideas. It's not a narcissist. Now, same goes with other people. If we take a murderer, right? We label that person as a murderer, but he's not a murderer. He is a person who had killed a person, right? The more we label people like that, narcissists, murderers, selfish people, unkind people like that, if we label the people, if we give the tags to them, right? They will never get out of their problems, their weaknesses. First of all, we need to see the human within that person. In every narcissistic person, there is a human which has good qualities. So you have to see those qualities and admire those qualities. Give a value to them, right? If you're giving value to them, and if you are not caring, and if you don't, if you're not caring, and if you are ignoring the negative side of that person, and they will always give a good admiration to you, right? So, so when you are living with a narcissistic person, what you have to do is you have to admire their little qualities, good qualities that they have, right? When you admire them, they will like you when a person develops music, the desire for another person. Then they will always start to listen to that person, right? Then after that, with the time, if you tell now you have to get out of this problem, you have to stop being selfish and start. You need to start to be kind and compassionate to yourself, to the and to the others. Then they will start to listen to your advice, right? So never use anger or resentment, aggression, to deal with such people, right? If you are using anger, resentment, hatred to deal with such people, they will never get out of their problems. They will never become change, right? So approach them in a soft way, in a kind way. You have to help them because they need our help. So when you're dealing with such people, tough people, narcissistic people, right? You have to always use these qualities, patience, kindness, and good listening abilities. You have to take time, right? You have to value and admire their qualities. These are the things that gives the answer for these type of problems in our life. So when you are living your life, develop these qualities within your heart and make your heart a peaceful place and make the hearts of the people around you a peaceful place.